morning everyone and welcome to Natique in Elk Grove, California and NatiqueYarns.com coming to you live on what is so far a brisk chilly day here in Northern California. You know we're a bunch of wimps out here. <laughs> I grew up in Montana but I'll tell you what there is something about the difference in humidity that makes it colder. Cause really? Oh yes. Oh very much so. And it's not just that you grew up there, but you're used to it here now? No, it's because I was colder here like my first winter here at temperatures that in Montana, I, it may not be recommended to go outside without a coat on, but hmm. I went outside without a coat on because it was cold. <laughs> um, so it's there's something about the humidity um because it is a very dry cold in montana that's why it has wonderful powder snow for the skiers that's why skiers love it hmm. why i don't love it is because it has a lot of snow and cold and that's not my jam but it does allow me to wear my knits so there's that this is good because i do in the summer start to miss sweater weather <laughs> i want like just like that caramel keel of it being like 75 degrees during the day all the time and only like 65 at night. We just want Carmel, <laughs> Santa <laughs> Cruz, Capitol, any of those would work. I feel like they get colder than that though. That's okay. You can still wear your knits all the time. Okay. Crazy girl. I only visit. Okay, crazy girl. <laughs> all right. So we have lots of awesomeness for our video today including the current grand prize which only has today left to get entered what? um yes what? i know tomorrow is february oh yeah yeah i saw a post i am so squirrely this morning i saw a post on facebook that said something about it feels like january 74th yes it was like yeah it does kind of feel like that but at the same time doesn't feel like January has happened yet, but it, it has. I feel like it's happened, but I want to know how it's over already. It just started a couple days ago. Right? Maybe a week at the most. Right? Like, what's I don't happening get it. out there? I don't understand. And it's not just us. I hear lots of people say that. Yes, everybody feels this way. I think our lives are too busy and we all <sighs> need to slow down, which will happen after stitches. Yeah. <laughs> uh, don't tell us to slow down right now. We don't have time for that. <laughs> uh... Okay, so back to the grand prize. Tone down the squirrel brain. Uh, we have Danielle's Cowl Vicarious, which is a really fun cowl with chevron shaping. You've got stockinette, you've got this fun drop stitch pattern that adds almost an inch of fabric for two rows of effort. Um, we have paired it with the these two bright and scrumptious skeins. One is Draymond Color Smushy Cashmere, which is a merino cashmere nylon blend of fingering weight yarn. And one is Art Yarn Merino Cloud, which is merino and cashmere, no nylon. She doesn't do synthetics. Um, so you've got this gorgeous combination that will easily make any of the sizes, including the large infinity size. You could even make it a little wider. Um, you could make two. You could be like, thank you for the yarn. I'm going to go make fuchsia meadows because I'd rather have a convertible wrap. Like once these are yours, the world is your oyster. You sure we can't win? Yes. Oh, man. I know. Cause this color, I'm like, I'm thinking it was maybe a one of a kind cause yeah. it almost matches two other colors so it's like it's either a different dye lot or it was a reject which we like the rejects they're beautiful nothing it, wrong it just didn't meet their spec yeah, it just didn't match the color they were going for therefore they get kicked into the one of a kind pile which we're okay with we like those so how you get entered into the grand prize every time you make a purchase from the 16th through today in January, you get one entry. It's cumulative, so if you purchase three times, you get three entries. If you purchase five times, you get five entries. Even cute little crystal buttons would count. Yes. Anytime you check out, it counts. So make 
sure you get all your goodies. If it's clearance sale goodies, which are all mostly 60% off now or more, there's some great 75% off deals in there too. Um, that all counts. Signing up for classes counts. If you hit checkout, whether it's online at nateekyarns.com, here at the store where we hit the button for you, um, or even over the phone with us, then it's all going to count as an entry. And today is the last day. So that thing that you've been waiting to buy, stop it. Get it today. Good morning, good morning. Eileen, that's a lot of energy in that little gif. <laughs> Oh, is it a gift on yours? Well, no, I thing on couldn't think of the word, oh. so, you know. I was like, man, Picture? Bubble? I don't know. Let's, I think let's... they call them stickers. Oh, yeah. Okay. I thought I was missing out on something. No, it, second, it's you know, not moving. The FOMO thing. <laughs> okay, on to our daily drawing, which is another one of Boss Lady's wonderful patterns. This is the Reflection Cowl. It is a really fun, simple columnar eyelet pattern that you're doing yarn over knit two togethers and SSK yarn overs. And I think it's only like a four, row, four round repeat. Yep, and three of the rounds are knit. Nice. So, one round pay attention, three rounds plain. We'd originally designed it with a DK weight and a lace weight glitter yarn held to double, but thought it would be fun for you to have a fingering weight in this pretty pink alpaca paired with this gorgeous soft mohair silk in what I'm pretty sure is like a self-striping color. So you're gonna get these really pretty blends of color because you hold the two strands together. So this is gonna tone down the pink, the pink is gonna brighten up this so you get somewhere in the middle. And you're gonna have enough to make, okay, look at the yardage. I forgot to write that down. Oh, there was no sticky in this one. No, I think, I think, the think smaller it's a smaller medium. medium, yeah. I remember by looking at the numbers. Yep, smaller medium. So you can make the shorter, more like gator length size or the slightly longer, more necklace length size out of the price. And how you get entered into our daily drawing is by interacting with our video. So today's winner will be determined off of Saturday's entries and today's entries will go towards tomorrow's prize. So you can get one entry per reaction, all these fabulous little bubbles, which I see lots of you guys clicking over there. And then you get five entries per comment. And then if you want lots of entries for a little effort, you hit share. Oh, look, it works again. Yay. Share now to your friends. Okay, it only works once, but mm. okay, good, I can get. Um, share to your stories, to a group, wherever you share. Just come back and comment where you shared, and you're going to get 11 entries for that share. Goodness. Oh, delivery. Hold oh, on. we have a delivery. Let's take a quick peek at this pretty yarn again. Different shades of pink yeah. with some highs and some lows. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Take a quick look at these buttons as well. From Big Bad Wool, super cute little sparkly crystal buttons. How do I get no glare? Really cute on a little sweater, a little bling on your hat. Okay. Cold. Yeah, you let a lot of cold air in there. Well, he had a lot of boxes. There's three. He did. I know what I'm doing today. Wait, do the drawing. Oh. <laughs> oh, I got interrupted. In. Okay, so we will come over to our handy dandy comment picker and see who our winner is. Kate Plowden, congratulations. Not local, I believe. Correct. All right, so 
Next time you make a purchase, just let us know in the notes you have a prize and we will include it in your pretty pink package. Ooh, pink package with pink yarn. How awesome is that? And next time, if you win and you are local, just pop in and let us know you have a prize and we will get it from the cabinet. Antithesis, did I say it right? Yes. Ooh, I've been working on that word, you guys. It's really hard for me. So, antithesis cowl from Fire and Ice and beaded silk and sequins. I could just look at this yarn all day. I might need a screenshot. All right. The cabinet did not want to open. I don't know why they didn't there, make that center one with two poles, but right. it should have had a little pole doohickey on both sides. Granted, you know, we had the custom sparkly ones made because they're trying to bite <laughs> people's fingers off, too. So yeah. you know, there was that issue. I was like, who makes cabinet poles with sharp edges? I wonder if we could order another sparkly knob just the the outer but how would we cut the indent no you just get the i'll show you not okay. cut it we just I'm like, it has to fit it'd be really the other door. be really low profile and just glue it on <laughs> it would work i think it would stick out those things are a quarter of an inch deep i said low profile <laughs> we are our custom of our custom knobs <laughs> Rat. Sandpaper. Yay, Marsha got her pink package yesterday. Yay. And yeah, what's with six degrees and two degrees, folks? That's yeah, you, guys you need to come to California. Specifically Elk Grove, but you guys live in crispy critter cold over there. I think I don't miss that mm. at all. Because that was normal. I think snow for me is only good to look at from inside a warm place or better yet on the TV. Right? Like pictures. Pictures mm -hmm. are good. Pictures are good. Okay, who's excited? I am. Because one of my favorite yarns, we just got a whole bunch of new colors, so the yarn just got even better. They're so pretty. Um, I know which one I want. Right? Mm-hmm. This one. No. I mean, oh. that one too, but no, that's not my number one this batch. Shocking. I know, right? Okay, so we're going to start with this beautiful, rich, deep, like dark spruce green. It's definitely more of a blue green, but in like that charcoal depth of color, it's like oh. muted spruce green. green. Kate just got on. Yay, good morning. The color's pretty accurate on the phone yeah, at least. It's a little dark on my monitor, but we, it's yeah, pretty close. we probably need to kick the brightness up on the monitor for all I know. I don't know where that button is. I'm not going to mess with it right now. Yeah. So Dream and Color Cosette is a DK weight yarn, 70% superwash merino, 20% cashmere, 10% nylon. So the cashmere makes it super soft. And then the nylon gives it really good structure so that when you're doing things like sweaters, they hold their shape nicely. You just did. She just did it, folks. Three guesses it's what my, she did in the first. I needed to <laughs> count to see what I was doing. First two choices don't count. First two guesses. Hey, I did one without doing it. Did you really? Look, I did. Oh, this one. Yeah. I thought you meant another day. Okay, no. put that one back. You can do it again. <laughs> no, I did one color without going crazy about putting them in some sort of order. They're in yarn order. Cosette also had, did I say the yardage? 270 yards. So lots of one skein projects available. This is one of my favorite reds. This isn't new, but we have not had any in stock in a little while. This is Miami red, which is definitely more of a blue red. So what choices are there? Blue red, orange red? Violet yeah. red, I mean, what, how I many? I feel like it's blue red, orange red, pink red. Ugh. Um, red red. Is that one pink red? Yes, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will see in a second. You're ridiculous. I know. Kate, isn't the Wrap It Real Good project fun? Oh, that's such a fun pattern. 
and almost perfect for this yarn and you don't yeah. have to do it in 24 colors like it was no. designed in you can do it in two colors and it'd be really pretty okay then we have rosy which is this gorgeous pink red with <laughs> a little bit of like a brick orange red you can see it's a little more orangey here but then you've got that gorgeous rose pink to magenta blended in there so you're getting that overall pink red look very you know certain holiday coming up with these mm, two true um lots of fun projects that you can do out of Cosette. If you guys haven't done one of these headbands, they're kind of addictive because the way you make them is like knitting a tiny scarf and then there's a little trick in how you sew the ends together that makes this cool little knot right here. So this is the little pebble ear warmers which has like a garter rib pattern for the fabric. And then you make that knot, which we do have an on-demand class for the twisted headbands. So definitely if that technique is something that you're like, I just did, I read the instructions and I don't get it. Watch the video and then you're like, oh, why didn't they just say that? <laughs> it, is, it is totally, you know, it's one of those things we hear with patterns all the time. It's like they did, they just didn't say it the way that clicked for us. And that's okay because they try so this one only takes 180 to 220 yards um, it's a free pattern I don't know that must be a typo on the gauge because I don't know how you would get 12 what? stitches on a size 5 I feel like that was supposed to say 22 might make a little more sense is it's only four and a half inches wide and it looks like it's around 22 to 30 stitches across. Here, I'll go to the next one. Another we'll knock on the door. What is this? Honey Plum. And we're gonna zoom in right here because I can't reach the mouse. Oh my gosh, that's my kind of pattern. Feather and Fan-ish. Let's look at this one. Look, there's more on the bottom. I think there's three sections of that. Super pretty. That'd be beautiful in this new rosy. I know. I thought about reaching it, but it might have caused an earthquake. So. Isn't it pretty though? Like this is one of those that I'm like. I wonder how Susan hasn't come across this one. Right. It's basically like a fancy feather and fan lace with a Latvian braid in the middle if you're like what I'm not doing that do a garter ridge instead no one will know um and then a pico bind off at the end which is another if you're like I'm not doing that just, just bind, bind off regular you don't have yeah. to like there's no rules but this one takes three skeins of Cosette size seven needles and Boy, I might need to make that my uh, my next travel project. Shed, like if it had short rows or anything like that, because it almost looks like it does, but I don't think I it don't actually think it does. does. Just lots of squishy garter. So garter stitch, a little beautiful lace, that Latvian braid or not, and voila, beautiful shawl. I think Latvian braid is a little finicky, but it's sure worth the effort. It's so pretty. Just don't do it on a cobblestone road. This is true. Then we have McKenna. This is a really fun cowl by Laura Ayler. It's one of those cowboy cowl style with like a garter stitch background with this pretty like chevron or arrowhead lace detail. Can I just have a yearly subscription to certain designers? I miss I, this one too. I know there's a couple of them that you like have to stock and search them once a month and see what you're missing because there's always something new. This one's from last year. No. Two years ago. Oh, wait, wow. Was it? My goodness. Really fun, fast, easy one. I like the little light dots that, that yeah. you get out of the garter stitch background as the lace adds another column. And it's only one skein. What? One skein. 240 yards. Whoa. Because these are what, 270? 270. So add that to Seriously, your how is that one skein? I know 
boxes and we'll be adding that to her. Oh, uh, yeah. When she goes to do the links after this. I will because too pretty. Pretty, pretty. Because we cannot help her help ourselves. Oh, Phyllis has been working on her diamond dots. I haven't done that for a while, but it's I very either. fun. I don't have time for it. I know. I don't even have enough time to knit. I'm like, I'm not allowed <laughs> any more hobbies. I'm sticking with yarn and I'm done now. I, I should do some diamond dots. I did way too much knitting on Sunday. This is a really pretty orange. This is Cinnamon Girl. It's like a muted or dusty orange, a little bit clay. Like if you guys ever had to do clay projects in art school <clears throat> as a kid, you know the color. It's very toned down Tex-Mex. Yeah, Tex-Mex is way richer, more vibrant orange. This is like the, it, I feel like we've got like the muted collection going on. It's Tex-Mex with sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> or um, like, faded out a little bit like so yeah put the filter on yeah but so we have the beautiful rich cinnamon girl then i've never seen this one before that one's so new i feel like it's like new new mm -hmm. this is caroline which is a really fun speckle with kind of a coppery orange some lime green, some teal, some like dark plum. It reminds me a little bit of Dirty Damn Lamb, but I think it's missing a color. So I'm going to say this is Damn Lamb's girlfriend, Caroline. Because <laughs> I'm a weirdo. And y'all are used to that. So it's love okay. this pop of color right here. I love the way their speckles are. Like the speckles are really concentrated. Like they don't blend out <coughs> into more of a watercolory look. They really stay a true speckle. Makes me curious, like what their how do they do it? Yeah. Like are they speckling it onto a dry skein? Are they doing it on a hmm. wet skein? Like, how are they getting it so concise? Good morning, Melanie. Then, this is a fun one that I think I've only ever seen it when we've had a trunk show. Like, it's very rare. brand, brand new. Maybe it was a one of a kind that I saw that was similar. Maybe. <clears throat> but this is black and white, which is black and white. But you've got like that softer jet black into like charcoals and pewters. And then it, that blends out into kind of silver and cream where the undyed color is. Like you can see the skein if I kind of fold it around. It's lighter on this end. So you're going to get that really fun mix of color. I want to see a toy Dalmatian knit out of it. It, Talk to it has spots. <laughs> Talk to the kid. Yeah. Call them to crochet a Dalmatian. You'll have to sew all the parts together, but right. they'll do the crocheting. That's why I don't make animals, because you have to put them together. And who ends up putting them together when my child does them? Me. Okay, oh, if you want a really cute sweater, this one's worsted weight, but I came across it from looking at people's projects in Cosette, and it's beautiful. The gauge is 20 stitches and 4 inches, which just hmm. lends itself to a nice lighter weight sweater in the DK weight yarn. It's got this little, like, expanding triangle, like, flying geese pattern on the sleeves. It's got it on the front. There's this little like rickrack lace border between the lace panel and the stockinette side. What's on the back? Wow. Susan Land. Mm-hmm. You've got the more mesh chevron lace, the bigger, more flying geese.
style lace with those little rickrack columns in between. Super cute, lightweight, like multi-season sweater out of this one. And this one calls for 1,000 to 1,600 yards, so that's only like five to eight skeins for a 36 to a 56. That is Avix by Jennifer Dassau. Then if you want an easy peasy hat, there's the Relax Man hat that is just this really fun, simple, like twisted rib, one by one rib, and then the stockinette with the little garter ridge dots. So you've got like kind of a subtle garter rib. You can see it even looks good in a slightly busier color. And then it's got this really fun, like quick decrease on the top. So you've got more of that gathered effect on the back. And it's every color. And we all know it only takes one skein to make a hat. They don't say, but we all know it only takes one skein to make a hat. And then one more, and then I'll show you guys more colors. Ooh. Golden Ginkgo Shawl is this really fun pattern of it's like i feel like there must be like dropped stitches right. in here to make these little they, they kind of look like a little bee body and then you've got the little triangles of lace and then the eyelet row in between so you're getting all this movement out of the shaping of the border and then you just have simple garter stitch short rows for the body of the shawl you get this nice big crescent shaped shawl that you can pin more as a, you can wear it more as a scarf you can wear it more as a shawl you can do I don't think she showed it here but you can totally do like the cowboy cowl style with it because it's nice and long two skeins Ooh, nice loose gauge. 16 stitches. Recommended needle size, size 10. That's a Whoa. quick fit, too. Because who doesn't like a quick knit? Okay, there are lots more colors. Starting with this one's got to be brand new because I've never mm -hmm. seen that one. That's gilt. Like, Gilded guilt, not Gee. I have a guilty conscience yeah. guilt. Guilt sparkly. Gold leaf guilt. <laughs> G-I-L-T. There's no U. It's this really pretty, like, olivey green mixed with, like, a chocolate. There's some bronze. Like, you kind of have to bring both ends together to see all the colors. This is almost one of those that I want to like unfurl, you know? Mm hmm. But really pretty warm green tone. It's got that patina effect. I'm pretty sure it goes really good with torchwood, so I'm like, like mm. Mm -hmm. excuse me while I run away for another <laughs> color. Ooh, I want to see it with tumbleweed. Okay. I have tumbleweed on the brain since that's what I'm using right now. Then we have one of our favorites. This is Scorched Lime. It's that really rich, deep golden green. You've got kind of more of the deep avocado shadows to the brighter, almost prickly pear highlights. You can see there's a little bit of that kind of golden effect in here. Like if you were trying to build a fade, these two would go really well together. Actually, I feel like cinnamon girl like you'd need something in between but it starts to pull together because of all the coppery tones in gilt i love scorched lime it's like the best green mm -hmm. next to pickleball because obnoxiously bright green is always my favorite Then 
then let's see. Let me link a couple more pictures. Pictures. You guys knew what I meant. Recipes. Right. <laughs> I think that might be where my brain is at at this point. Is like what what what's going on? I think we're gonna start having castle pickle days. Oh yeah, for sure. I think I'm already there. <laughs> start. Well, the rest of us will join you. <gasps> Look at that. I said Jared instead of Jared on Sunday. I'm like, nobody heard that. <laughs> uh, this is the Riverton Cowl, which is this really fun. It's like, I don't quite know what to call it because it's almost got like a basket weave effect with the stockinette and the reverse stockinette triangles. They're like, got these rivers of. They're rivers and dragon rack. scales. You know that dragon scale yeah. pattern? Yeah. It's like, I don't quite know what to describe this stitch as, but I like it a lot. I like that the one edge is ripply, but the top edge is more straight, which is really normal with this kind of style stitch pattern. So you get like that little detail around the bottom that makes it sit nicer on your shoulders. You can tell that it's made fairly tall. If that's not your jam, you just stop sooner. That's what I tend to do. I'm not really a gator length cowl person. I like them a little shallower. Um, this one only takes one skein and is a free pattern. And I know sometimes free patterns make people nervous because is it a well-written pattern? 400, oops, 405 people have made it. That's a good pattern. That usually means the kinks have been worked out if there were kinks. So that's the Riverton cowl. Then we have this really cute sweater, one of Jennifer Steingass's patterns, which I love her sweater patterns. Have I made one yet? No. Do I love them? <laughs> yes. This one has this really pretty, like, they look like they're like hanging from the ceiling, like teardrop chandelier kind of look. Because they look like upside down flowers, which also sort of looks like our chandelier. Yeah. Uh, with then this little like icicle design below it. Um, here I'll show you guys some other color combos if it'll go. So there's like silver and black or this one's a little more subtle on the contrast. The rust in it looks like an indigo kind of thing. It looks a little blurpily. But it has a huge range of sizes. Whoa. I'm like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 sizes from a 36 and a quarter to a 67. So she covers all the bases. And I just love her patterns. I warn you guys, Jennifer Steinbeck has a rabbit hole of patterns. Maybe a rabbit warren. Okay, then, you know, I have to put this over here because it's driving me nuts. <laughs> I tried for one skein. I yes. Did it. It's so good. This is blue fish, which is like a slightly denim, slightly teal blue with a hint of green like it's a blue green but it's barely it's mostly blue you can see some of that greenness in the top there yeah like the tone i feel like the tonality of the color really stands out yeah right here like it kind of shows all the shades in there i don't know if it shows accurate color color looks that's a little more accurate up here definitely more teal than blue and then so that's blue fish and then last but not least we have the gorgeous this one must be new too mm -hmm. Elysian here I'm gonna do this see this is the color I thought for sure Susan would pick as her color that would probably be my second it's got a little bit of like the teals of bluefish, but it's got the cobalt of bedtime, the dark almost black of indigo, 
it softens out into a little bit of charcoal in the highlights. It's like the night sky in a skein. It's a nice little section of blurple right there. But just such a good blue violet kind of color. Okay, couple more fun projects. This is another one that says worsted, but lots of people did projects out of Cosette, so I can vouch for the fact that it looks good in DK weight. This is the Fisher Cable Hat, which has a cable and rib border and then a stockinette top. I like, like this person didn't do a little garter ridge after theirs but this one did. So the garter ridge gives it more of that faux folded brim effect versus the design just stopping. So I do kind of like that little garter ridge a little bit more. Like somebody even did it in like stripes, which is kind of fun. They did the color change on the pearl row. So they mm -hmm. got that little like bumblebee stripe. This one another free pattern one skein then last i say best for last Ooh. this is yayoi's embrace which is by moringa knits that's the designer that did the papillon shawl and then all the iterations thereof of that um so she's very well known for her short rows but this one doesn't have any short rows this has fun Look like, how cute that is. Little hearts ish. Yeah, almost. Because they look like, because right here it looks like, like a perfect little heart in the yeah. middle. Um, so it has that really fun detail down the middle. These bubble stitches, which are really easy to do, you guys. If you've never done it, just do it. It's so fun. And it's basically a scarf and a cowboy cowl in one. Because you can see. It's got these long sides that come down like a scarf. So you can wear it more cowboy cowl styled. You have the length to wrap around to be warmer. That's really awesome. It's just a fun design. And it's really pretty in kind of all the color variations. Like this one, cause it's bright, of course, really catches my eye. But then here's like her original one in the burgundy and silver. But I like this one because it shows that a slightly tonal or slightly speckled yarn can work. Like you could do Caroline and Cinnamon Girl and it would play well perfectly. And it only takes one skein each of your two colors, I believe. what yardage the recommended yarn was. Yeah, so you can definitely get away with one of each because that would be the narrower size on the yardage. Yeah, I had to say best for last because it's so fun. Because pretty. Right? Yeah, I mean, and Caroline goes with so many of them. It's like you could put it with gilt. You could put it with scorched lime. Petrified forest. Bluefish. Like, it goes with so many of them. I love colors like that that just kind of go with everything. Okay, let me get to the link in here for you guys and we will go talk about what classes we have coming up. That is all the beautiful colors of Cosette that we got in. Anybody need a chocolate fix? Always. We'll wander over here and it will catch up to us. Okay, so starting on Friday, February 10th, Third, we have the $5 pop-up class for our facile cowl, which means easy. 
Uh, so it is an easy project. It's a great therapy knit. It's a great skill builder for confident beginners that it's just knit, purl, yarn over knit two together. So we're gonna teach you the eyelet pattern in class um, and talk about how you can join the ends together to make it into a cowl or you can leave it plain for a scarf. You have options. And it is 264 yards of worsted weight yarn. We use the Katia Retape, which is one of the ribbon yarns with that really pretty kind of speckle color palette to it. Kate, I don't know the exact measurements, but they will be on, are they on the class page? They're certainly on the pattern. For the cowl? Yeah. Um, the measurements are not on the class page, but they are on the pattern and they are on the, so when you go to the class page and you click where it says, click here for the pattern, on that page on Ravelry, before you even buy the pattern, the sizes should be there. I try to make sure that the sizes are always in there when I put up any pattern. Then on Tuesday, February 7th, we have our sheared scarf class. This one is another good one for the confident beginner. Um, you're gonna do knits and purls and increase and decrease to create this beautiful ruched fabric. Um, we used one skein of the Noro Uchiwa. You could use three to four skeins of Silk Garden, two skeins of Rios. Like there are lots of worsted weight options for you. You could even get away with dropping down a needle size and using Cosette. <laughs> Just saying. No one's gonna yell at you. Uh, then on starting on Friday, February 10th, and then the 17th and 24th, we have the one skein clappity class. So we're going to teach you how to do the bias drop stitch design and teach you there's a spreadsheet version of the pattern that we have linked in Gravity. the class that has the details for how to do it with just one skein of blue heron. The original pattern calls for a little more yardage. So we have the tweaks there for you to make it in one skein. Then next up, we have the Art Yarns Marled Cowl mm -hmm. class on Tuesday, February 14th. This is part of Iris's knit along that is to promote her fabulous new worsted weight yarn, Silky Twist. You need one skein each of two colors and you'll have enough to make the cowl and there's a matching hat. But in class, we're gonna teach you the cowl. So we'll teach you the stitch patterns. There's a little bit of short rows. Um, the increasing for the bandana shape and then you'll be off to the races making yourself a beautiful accessory. Or if you're more of a sweater person like me, then we'll have the sweater class coming up starting February 18th and then March 11th and 18th. We wanted to give you guys plenty of time in between sessions for doing homework because uh, we don't want the knitting to be too much pressure. Susan just rolled her eyes at me because we're all deadline knitting <laughs> for stitches, um, which is getting us yelled at by our chiropractor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, maybe we should just not go to her till after stitches so she doesn't oh, no. yell at us. Oh no, I oh, need no. to keep I going. We need it. We need it. we need it. If you, if you guys don't know, it, knitting and crochet, sometimes you do things too much mm -hmm. or you sit in bad positions and distort yourself. Mm -hmm. It's worth having a chiropractor mm -hmm. to fix you up because we're not going to stop knitting. Mm -mm. So just, just fix me so I can go back to what I'm going to do. I might have killed my wrists on Sunday. She, she's a little addicted to the current project. Well, yeah, that and deadline. Yes. We're a little bit crazy, we know. We're a lot of bit crazy, it's okay. Crazy is good. <laughs> yeah, see? Chiropractors know. Mm-hmm. They know. They're like, what have you been doing? Mm-hmm. 
She just outright said, your wrists are calling to me. I don't know why. I'm like, well, <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> like, I'll wrap myself out. It's fine. Okay, so what are we wearing? I have on one of my crochet patterns. This is the Get a Little Warm Poncho, which is done in 800 yards of fingering weight yarn. And it's done essentially as a rectangle with this sawtooth edge that you build as you go. And then you seam the end to the side. Kind of take it off, except for it's cold. Kind of like those fun cowls we've been doing where you just take and seam the end to the side, which gives you that like triangle shape in the front, straight across the back, or you can put it like, I like to do it with the point on one shoulder because it kind of lets you pull it down over your shoulders when it's cold a little bit more. But then you just get that beautiful lace detail all the way around the bottom with just a little bit of plain in the back and voila. Well. Then we'll turn this around and show you guys what Susan is wearing. Passages poncho, one of my favorites. Can you guys tell it's cold in here? We're all wearing ponchos. Yeah, I want my arms covered, but you know, I didn't bring a sweater, I brought this one. Lots of short rows, cause we know me. Two colors of fingering weight. I think 500 of each color, so you'd need four skeins. But just really fun, beautiful, warm project. Tis the, tis the season to wear warm projects. Okay. That's going to be it, you guys. We'll pull your orders for whatever color of cozy set called to you this morning. I wasn't picking my color. I, I was. The <laughs> Susan's stealing hers. Um, and then we'll open at 11 and Susan's got class 12 to 2, and we'll see you all again tomorrow. Have a good day.